Hello learners, welcome to the series of lectures on the last unit of the Legal Awareness Program, Legal Aid Services. I am Kuntirani Pradhan, Faculty of Law, National Law University, Odisha, and now we will discuss about the second component of this unit, that is public interest litigation. Now, what are we going to discuss in this specific subunit? We'll know about the history of public interest litigation, the definition and scope of public interest litigation. We will also let you know who can file a PIL and how a PIL can be entertained in a Supreme Court, in a High Court or in a Court of a Magistrate. So basically, the relevant procedural forums will be discussed with you. Along with that, we will discuss the landmark judgments. Those are called as the trendsetters and the path breakers in public interest litigation. Finally, at the end, we will discuss about what are the petitions, what are the type of petitions that the Supreme Court entertain and can entertain as public interest litigation. Are there any guidelines so that the Supreme Court can entertain PIL on such guidelines? Now, public interest litigation is not defined under any statute, but we need to give a proper definition seeing into the constitutional mandates as well as through different lenses and we need to define public interest litigation very holistically. What is public interest litigation? It basically, it sort of a gives wider description to the right to life, equality, life and personality guaranteed under the part 3 of the Indian constitution. It is an effective instrument which helps in bringing changes in the society and also results in the social welfare of the community. Through a public interest litigation, any person can seek justice, can go to the doors of the court and knock by the oppressed class and an introduction of an PIL is a very important step as to when you want to help any indigent person who needs your help. Let us start discussing the history of public interest litigation. When you start speaking about the history of public interest litigation, the first case that comes into our picture is Husanera Khatun versus Home Secretary, State of Bihar, which was in the year 1979 and Ms. Kapila Hingurani, who was a lawyer, who was a social activist, she dealt into the issues of the under trial prisoners who were languishing in the state of Bihar. The jails were overcrowded and they were languishing since so many years. So this case is very important as it deals with right to speedy trial and also provision of legal aid to the poor. Kapila Hingurani took into consideration the people languishing in jail who Basically, she was not considered about whether they were males, females, lepers, mental patients or even children. She took into consideration whether they were prisoners. Then she moved to the court and the court intervened immediately and they gave orders to release them on bail. Now, when we see that PIL is not defined under any statute, now who is a person who can file a PIL? A person who is an individual who is a resident of our country, who has the citizenship of our country, can file a public interest litigation. Any public spirited person can also file a public interest litigation. One who has a public larger interest and no vested interest has got the right to file a public interest litigation. Most interestingly, in cases we see when the Supreme Court or any court knows that this issue might be of utmost public interest and importance, then the court can also take so motor cognizance and also appoint an advocate to handle the case. Moving ahead, let us know about the relevant procedural forums as to how a public interest litigation can be filed. The furtherance of this procedural forums is being discussed in the self-learning materials provided. But in short, let us know which specific provisions in law helps us to file a public interest litigation. Moving ahead to the relevant procedural forums as to where a person can file a public interest litigation. We do have three different areas and three different mandates on which a person is entitled to file a public interest litigation. When it is to be filed in a Supreme Court, Article 32 comes into picture. Article 32 of the Indian Constitution gives a right to an Indian citizen to administer a writ against any sort of injustice that is being done in the society. Now, if it is to be filed in a high court, 
then article 226 comes into picture furthermore the section 133 of the code of criminal procedure gives us the right to file a public interest litigation in the court of a magistrate now moving ahead to the three important landmark cases and public interest litigations that change the idea of different sort of legislation and also the idea of justice now we can discuss at length the first one we have already discussed regarding the under trial prisoners which was on Hussein Era Khatun versus Home Secretary State of Bihar. The second landmark judgment and the public interest litigation which was a path breaker in the area of environmental law is the MC Mehta versus Union of India in the year 1988. This ordered given by the Supreme Court ordered that many industries those who were very much subjective to be a polluted area and the industries who were very much responsible to keep the area polluted they were ordered to be shut down and reopen only after setting the effluent treatment plants so that pollution could be controlled so mc mehta versus union of india is another environmental public interest litigation which speaks that justice cannot be denied only on the grounds that you are not a resident of a posh area but you do have a right to get justice even if you stay in the banks of river Ganga or wherever you stay. The third landmark judgment in the area of public interest litigation is Vishaka versus state of Rajasthan in the year 1992. Nena Kapoor who was a lawyer who attended the criminal trial of Bhavri Devi who was instrumental in the formulation of the Vishakha guidelines, she initiated a public interest litigation that paved way and also helped the policy makers, induced the framers of the policy to include sexual harassment at workplace in a very proper zonation as well as Vishakha guidelines were formed based on this public interest litigation. Now, as students of legal awareness, we are very, it's very much important for us to know as to what petitions can be entertained as public interest litigation. Does the Supreme Court envisages any guidelines so that such petitions could be entertained by the Supreme Court? Yes, there are some guidelines. Also, there are certain cases, basic petitions, which can be entertained as PILs. Basically, when it is a matter of bonded labors, when the issues pertaining to neglected children issues pertaining to violation of labor laws, issues pertaining to jails, people languishing in jails, to the under trial prisoners, on the atrocities of women, related to things related to environmental pollution, relating to drug abuse, related to disturbance of ecological balance, family pension matters and also petitions from the right victims. Everything can be entertained as public interest litigation. Public interest litigation is an ever expanding area of legal education and legal aid. Now, to know more about this concept, we have given you a much detailed analysis in the self-learning material and it is prescribed in subunit 2 of the legal aid services module. Now, in the next video lecture, we can discuss about the much known and the community outreach areas that is the clinical legal education and this is all about the public interest litigation and see you in the next video lecture.